up the rear of um, yellow black sheep. So on the topic today, why you shouldn't learn game from the best or pretty much anything from the best in general. And then, and as a contact, we don't jump to conclusions. So, so fast, yes, we do need to learn from the best, but there's time and place for it. So the first reason that you should learn from the best, especially game, is they're too far ahead of from you. They won't be able to relate it to it. So when you try to look up something to learn from the best guy in the field, and you never approach a girl before, things doesn't make much sense for you. <clears throat> and you won't, and even if his content is easy to understand, you won't be able to benefit because you you haven't done the, the work to build up the muscle to get there, to understand it. So for, for let's say for me as an um, example, actually let's use a, a normal example first. Let's say you want to want to play basketball professional and you only play basketball in your neighborhood around one month. And let's say you have a lot of money, you can afford anybody to coach you. Like, hey, who you wanna, who wanna coach you? Like, oh, I want Michael Jordan to coach me. Yeah, it sounds does sound nice, but actually it doesn't work because Michael Jordan he's too far ahead of you. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to relate. He, he know the basic, but the basics has become his nature. It's harder for him to teach his nature than the things that he know logically and he's still working on. So. What he can teach you, he, you're not ready yet. I and mean, what you needed to learn to get there, it's become his nature. It's very hard for him to relate it or teach to you. So, the and if you if you pay attention in general, the process will be like let's say basketball or uh, football. You start out, you play in your neighborhood. You play in when you was young, and then when you go to high school. You apply for a team in high school, and you work with the high the high school coach. The high school coach, play, okay, this guy good, that guy good. I'll, I'll let him join the team. I can play. And even if you get on the high school team or not, if you keep following the passion, when you go to college, that, that's another opportunity. You can play for the college team. And then when you get good at college team, and after college, you can train semi professional with the city team or the uh, high high school or the college league or something like that and then you can uh, i'm not super familiar with sport but you can also then you can go professional train with and then you can get to the professional team that's how to, to progress from neighborhood to high school to college into the nba or nfl you if you only play with, at your neighborhood a couple of months and you want to train with an nfl coach yeah he even if he be able to coach you he doesn't you won't learn much, and he can't teach you much because there's too much gap in between. So you know what I mean. Uh, and let's say, for example, with me, when I first learning pickup, I remember still to this day the first video that I opened on is qualification by Todd V. RSD, and I'm so confused. What the fuck is this qualification thing? And it's like an hours of a uh, free tour. What is the qualification mean? I. I can barely come up and say hello to a girl. I can barely approach a girl. What 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 the all this nonsense? So I actually gave up for a few months. Uh, like I get oh this is me not for me. It's too complicated. Uh, my English is not wasn't that good. And even if it was, the content just doesn't make any sense to me. So I gave up for a couple months, and then I found out about simple pickup of what by a couple of YouTube video prank of them saying stupid shit. Some some stupid jokes to the girl and get get a phone number. Oh, actually, this is quite simple. Um, and then follow them for a couple of months, and they have their project go launch, which was the one that saved my life. But then I follow, and it's very simple. The first thing is come and say hi. They call the brown side the call the the beach butterfly. You're like you have the butterfly in your stomach, and you feel like a bitch, but you're just gonna go say hi anyway. They make it very very simple. And I like, okay, I think I can do that. And I, and I, I brought, I pushed myself to abroad. It's still hard because I did, I started out on my own. But I built a broad girl and then keep following their program. They're very, very simple. Like, keep eye contact. Just look into her eyes and don't look away. Very simple. And then tonality. They, they, don't, they don't even call tonality. They call down talk and up talk. Don't, don't uh, up talk at the end of the sentences. Just down talk. 
a body language to stand up straight and put your chest out. So very, very simple. And I was able to use it, implement it, get to a certain level. And, and I know a lot of people in the pickup community does it really like or respect simple pickup because they oh this game doesn't work. Yes, yes and no. The game doesn't work because if you want to get laid on the same day from the pool instantly it's hard because they only take to a certain level. And a lot of the infield you see the number, say stupid thing, get a number, have fun, but it you don't see much follow up. They they see much I don't know if they had or not, but I just see by most of the thing they teach you don't see much of follow up day or in or get lay uh, day two, day three, you just get a number and then you kinda of move on. But it worked for a beginner to get their way to an intermediate. So a simple pickup was more like of a high high school coach that get a guy who barely know anything about the sport to get into the team and get him started on himself. Yeah. So after a while of following civil pickup, I was able to get a lot of number, but a lot of them are flaky number. I got laid a couple of times. But because those girls just I only slept with Asian guys, so I felt I, I felt good. Like, oh, I got the game actually worked, blah, blah, blah. But deep down, you know, I kind of got lucky. So, and the rest of the numbers were all in flake, and I did it for a year. And I guess, okay, I get this far, but I guess I can go further. So I started learning about RSD stuff, which at this point, RSD uh, content make, made more sense to me because I was... I was had in few experience and I was able to understand a couple of things here and there and understand the process, how it goes. Because if you somebody never approached a girl before and you go on boot camp, most of the time when the coach did it, you just push them into set. And yeah, he get desensitized to the approach anxiety on the micro level of, of that week only. So um, after the boot camp, it's really hard. For, for, for them because if you never approach it or you can really good, really good for a couple of weeks, you might get laid on the bootcamp, but uh, after the bootcamp, it's like, the bootcamp is more, a lot of time when I see a bootcamp, it's funny, I, every time RSD has a bootcamp in my city, I always follow them. And if sometime I saw it, both day game and night game, and surprisingly, all the students, sometimes they get laid, sometimes they don't. But surprisingly, all the students that attended the boot camp, you never see them out again. Um, you might see them out back a month or two, maybe three months, then 99% of them, you never see them again. Even if they get laid or not from the boot camp. Because you can give the man fish and you can't teach them the fish. So most of the time what happened on the boot camp, that's how with RSD, they just push them, they just push them into a set and they get a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more confident. And a lot of time I, I noticed where the instructor was just pumping up the te buying temperature of those girls and then push a student in. And sometimes they got laid. Yes, you buy the temperature were high, it's night game. They got laid, but they won't be able to do replicate those themselves. And also, a lot of those students I see, they never have they never a game in their life. Or they have very few approaches that they've done by themselves. So what happened on the bootcamp is, when they keep pushing you to open the set, anybody can do that. You don't have to pay $5,000 for RC Tyler to push you to open the set. And that's a waste of your money, a waste of his time. You can learn a lot more from RC Tyler than just pushing you to open set. And But that what happened, I would say 70% of the time, the boot camp that most students never approached before. So that's his... That, that's something you shouldn't do. Um, what you should do, you need to find a guy that's closer to your level. If you only play some sport in your neighborhood, then you need to go find a high school coach and train with him and train with the team. And then if, if you're already good at high school team and you want some champion, then you can go to college and follow the, uh, with the college team because it, they're different league. And then you can go semi with professional or professional afterward so uh, don't jump from neighborhood to a sport into nba level it doesn't work that way even if you can afford them this is waste of your time and money so um here was i yep so that that's the reason why you shouldn't learn stuff 
in general, but especially game because there was so much thing going on. If you never brought a girl before, then there's so much things going on. So it's that uh, open hook qualifies, uh, eye contact, body language, tonality, push pull, neck, like so much thing going on, and and you pissing your pants and high to a girl, and you want to meet the advanced kind of learn. It doesn't make any sense for both of you. So um, take your time. I wish there was something that as simple. I don't know if you simple pick up that took up the content as well. You probably might be able to find some of them online somewhere. I'm not sure, but maybe a couple of guys that you can see is that was epic. Is a good one that did some prank getting girl number, but the sub communication really good. You can see the vibe. Plus, also you can see how it's simple it is. Uh, angry picnic was a good one, and. Let's see, couple, couple. Uh, Vitali, he had really good vibe too. He had like his sub communication, his frame is crazy strong, and and well, that's what attractive quality. But you can see it in action, and you can see how simple it is to to say hi to a girl. But uh, you do need a lot more to make it works than just like spike the emotion and then get a number. That's easy to do for beginner. It looked like magic. Holy shit, and get. 10 numbers in an hour that's crazy and but a lot of you know those are flaky number you just spike the emotion and get a number it doesn't it doesn't lead to date it's not a solid number and there's a lot more to to to, to it but if you begin and that's all you need so find a guy on the next level of you and ask and make sure when you see somebody content that you feel it's related to you and you can understand it and you can use it so make sure to test it out in field as tom always said 10 percent in field Oh, 10% content, 90% infill. So, see something, e- even a prank YouTube video, I even, I, before I know game, I said, oh, this guy says some prank about, I think that's so epic. They had a video of like, hey, hey, I like you. It's to a girl. And that's his, this is open. It's his work because his self communication was so good. And I saw that. I tried it out. It didn't work out for me because my self communication was shit. I was pitching it myself. But, you can keep trying and fail, trying and fail you until you get numb to the social uh, approaching and now the, the approach to anxiety. And you can, then you can slowly learn to add a little bit more of eye contact, a little bit more tonality, a little bit more here and there. And even if it's hard sometimes, uh, for I've been doing it for five years, it's still hard for me sometimes. So yeah, look up for, um, I don't know if anything I can recommend content. But beside Tom content, I would say Tom content is for, I say intermediate. The beginner to the game is pretty good, but it, it can be simple, like simple pickup, which would be really good for, for you guys to start if you haven't done it for a while. Because I know I had a lot of people email me, hey, I haven't been approaching much. Where do I start? And it's sad that so many people are good in the past who took out the content. So... Maybe try to find some pick up, watch them from Vitali video. That was epic. So a couple, and a couple of people that I mentioned. And then get used to the vibe going out and say hi to people, be social first. I think simple pick up also before you want to get good with women, you have to get good with people in general. So if you're in line at Starbucks, say hi to somebody before, behind you or in front of you. That's all I do back when it's a simple pick up told me. They're very simple. Like, hey. If you're in life as a Starbucks, give somebody a compliment. Either they're behind you or in front of you. Give them a compliment, chat with them. Doesn't matter. It's a guy, girl, old lady, old, old, old man. Just say hi. Have a 10 second conversation. And always remember that you want to get good with women, you get good with people, trust in general. So that's a, some, something simple like that to help you start out. And then when you get used to everything, Get more intermediate, a little bit more advanced in the future. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I guess that's why the reason I want to make the video because so many people want to want the guy with the best infill, the guy that pulled three some in 30 seconds. Just like you watch Michael Jordan do some dumb, crazy dumb. Oh, I want to be like that guy. You barely train for like two months. So like To make sure, take your time. Even if this whole process takes five years, it was it because of the results and the freedom so you will have in the end. So um, take your time, find something that more related to you. I'll, I'll try to post some recommend maybe good content or 
good、uh, dating coach that I know. A lot of them took up the content because of the、um, uh, social uh, justice and shit. But、uh, I keep hustling and keep grabbing life by the horn. I will see you guys until next time.